Okay guys, I wanted to take you on a little trip. Um, some of you have heard the story of the Mill Race Monster, right? Well, this is Mill Race Park. This is where the siding was. Now I can't take you to where the siding was because as you're gonna see, we got a flooding issue here. So, I'm gonna walk you up here. I'll put my glove back on. It is, whoops, sorry. It is 19 degrees today. I'm out here. Um, now, the story goes that in 1974, there were, I believe it was four teenagers out here, and they were by the boat dock, and we can't go to the boat dock, because the boat dock's about, oh, I don't know, half a mile straight in front of you. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> that's currently underwater. And, uh, <clears throat> They were, they saw a hairy creature, um, and it had a green color to it. My theory is the green might be the moss from the river, uh, is what I'm thinking, but also, I don't know, you know, who knows, hair and all that, what happens, I don't know, but I'm kind of thinking that's what's going on. This is a really pretty park. Um, the reason they turned it into a park because there were houses down here along the river, I think it was in the 30s, and they just flood all the time. So they decided that, uh, you know, that wasn't a good idea, and they took out the houses and made it a park. Um, and when it's not flooded, it's used a lot. <laughs> but they've had a really weird winter down here in Columbus, like a lot of people have. This is where I grew up, was down here. I think that's what got me fascinated, you know? But you can see the ice, and then there's a real cool covered bridge over here. We like coming through here. They moved it from uh, out in the country to here. And uh, you can see, maybe it'll make a nice ice skating rink here in a few days when the weather gets really low, right? Because the temperatures are dropping. And I'll walk over by the river. So you can see. So the story goes, and I think this took like three days for this whole story to go across, but there were um, four teenagers saw it by the boat dock. They reported it. And unbeknownst to these two girls, and uh, happens to be one of them my brother actually went to high school with, uh, they were out here, and they were over in this area. And there used to be a shelter house over here, and it's not there anymore, where you could sit. And a lot of people did that. They'd come out here and picnic, you buy your food and come out here. I've been known to do that, especially when I worked at lunch to get away, you know. But um, they went and bought their sandwiches and whatever, and came out here and parked down there by the, by the shelter house. And uh, something came up, and... Uh, According to them, there were, it had claws and uh, the teeth, and um, her car was tore up. My brother said he saw the car. Uh, he tends not to believe, but I don't know. I'm, I think I'm turning him into a, be a believer. Hi, bub. <laughs> He's actually subscribed to my channel today, so thumbs up for that. One family member that's not laughing at me. Um, but it is really nice to have the outdoor area where they um, Columbus is known for Cummins diesel engine and if you look that way that tower that's sticking up that's the church my mom and dad got married in so that's kind of cool a lot of history here in Columbus very architectural um, it's a neat town it's a nice place growing up you can see you know and that covered bridge is really cool. And then the, and at Christmas time, they used to decorate here, but the winters have been with the all the flooding that you just can't do it anymore. Um, this is Flat Rock. And there's three rivers, and I know one's White River, Flat Rock, and I can't remember the other. They all kind of flow together down in here somewhere. <clears throat> Actually, the other day, a woman jumped, in, jumped off the bridge this past week over here. They don't know why, but they caught her before she went over the second waterfall, and she was uh, 
okay. But we were kids, teenagers, we came here all the time. So I don't know, then the story goes, you know, there's a guy in town, and I can't remember his name, but said, oh, it was him in a costume, you know. Uh, and he did it. And uh, my brother knew him too. He was kind of a goofy guy. So, uh, you know, he was like, oh, it was so-and-so. But, you know, how did he make the marks on the car? Um, and then there was another sighting, too. And then there was the biggest manhunt for a creature. And uh, they had to actually shut the park down because a bunch of guys came down here and they had guns and knives and hatchets. Who knows? You know, like a witch hunt, but it was for a, a green monster. And this is the river. <clears throat> and this sucker... It's high today. And I'm gonna get close so you can see it. It's so cold out today, but I'm so glad I'm walking. I haven't walked in a week. See it? Can you see it? It goes all the way across. Sucker is wide. And these woods go for miles. And you guys should go uh, listen to the story. There, it's a, There's a couple of them on YouTube about it. But, oh my gosh, isn't that pretty today? I love water. And this river right now is probably, I don't know how many times too wide. Because you can see through the trees and on the other side it's flowing over there too. And as I go over the bridge here, I'll try and get a picture. But driving I probably won't be able to because, you know, it has high sides on it. But, uh, yeah. And there have been recent sightings too of a creature on the Flat Rock River um, just not long ago. Like in November uh, there was a story. So... I don't know. Listen to the, I don't, you can't probably can't hear the ice crackling with the, the water running in it. But My dad came down here, he fished down here a lot for catfish. Hear the water, it sounds like somebody walking, it's so funny. It's like creep yourself out, but it's so pretty. Listen. I don't know if it's melting or because the water's. It's kind of disgusting looking, but it sounds kind of cool. I just thought I'd walk along here a little bit. I mean, I can't get to the woods, obviously. Anything you'd see along here, it could be from the water, you know? Pretty cool though. That's my story on the Mill Race Monster.
see the ice. It makes you cold, doesn't it? There's the old uh, railroad trails. I guess that's where she jumped and then went down the bridge. Oh, look at that log. Crazy. The water. Looks like an alligator jumping up and down. An icicle alligator. There's a whirlpool. Where are you getting that water? I don't know how they got her out. That log down there is cracking me up. A lot of woods around here. And that way is out of town. That's south. It just goes into the country. So now you guys get to see a little bit of me growing up. Couldn't drive around the park, obviously. The road's closed. Over there is where the. You can kind of see where the boat dock is way back there. Okay. All right. That's my story.